Season three, Learn at Home Worksheets are here. Do you watch Circle Time with Miss Monica? Did you know you can extend the Circle Time lesson right into your home? If you grab your bundle of My Learn at Home Worksheets, you'll be able to review the same skills we review during Circle Time. Every week, 12 new worksheets are delivered to the Learn at Home private platform. All you need to do is log in, click download, and print the worksheets of your choice. Sometimes I add extra worksheets and Craft Wednesday worksheets too. Grab your worksheet bundle today. See you on Circle Time. How are you friends? My name's Miss Monica. What's your name? Oh, well I'm so happy you came to circle time today. Oh, did you hear that? Listen, listen. Put on your listening ears. <laughs> I think I hear our good morning train coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. Circle time. I'm so happy you're here today. We have so much to do. Are you ready? Oh, wonderful. But before we get started, tell me, how are you feeling today? Oh, oh, well, thank you for sharing how you feel today. Today I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Now let's get started and head over to our circle time board. Come on, let's go. Okay, my friends, we're here at our circle time board. I think I should start by finding my, p p my pointer. I have it, my circle time pointer. Now, let's review our entire circle time board. Let's start with the days of the week. Will you help me sing the days of the week? Great, and we can find out what day it is today. Let's go, get ready, get ready. Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. One more time. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. We did it, but we still need to find out what day it is today. Okay, let's go back to the board. Do, 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 do. Yesterday was Thursday, dance party Thursday. Oh, did you have fun? I hope you did. Now, let's go down to the next day. Do, 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 do. Oh, today is Friday, 
Today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, today is Friday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday all day long. Yes, yes, my friends, today is Friday. Can you say Friday? Wonderful. Now let's put Friday on the board. We'll put it right up here. And now we've made a sentence. Will you help me read it? Okay, here we go. Today is Friday. Oh, well, let's read it one more time together. Here we go. Today is Friday. It sure is. Today is Friday. Now let's keep on going down our circle time board. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's time to find out what's the weather. What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining out today? Oh, my friends, what's the weather where you live? You may have to go look out your window and then come back and tell me what you see. I'll give you some time. Oh, hello. Are you back? Great. Well, what did you see? What's the weather where you live? Oh. Oh. Well, thank you for sharing what the weather is where you live. Now it's my turn. I would like to share what the weather is here where the Circle Time Classroom is. But I need your help. Will you help me? Great. We need to go look out the imaginary window so we can see what the weather is. Let's go. Come on. Okay, my friends, we made it to the imaginary window. What do you see? Look out the window. Is it a rainy day today? Ah. No, it's not a rainy day. Hmm. Is it a snowy day out today? Ah. No, it's not a snowy day. Oh, my friends, look out the window. Is it a sunny day? Yay! Yes, it's a sunny day today. Oh, it's a sunny day, and that means we need to find a picture that represents a sunny day. Will you help me? Great. Let's head back to our circle time board and find a picture. A sunny day picture. We're looking for a sunny day picture. Hmm. Is this a sunny day picture? Oh. Ah. This is a partly sunny day picture. No, it's not a sunny day picture. It's partly sunny. There are clouds and sun. Let's try again. Hmm, is this a sunny day picture? Ah. No, this is lightning and thunderstorms. That's what this represents. Hmm, let's try again. We can do it, friends. How about this one? Is this a sunny day picture? Yay! Ooh, yes, it is. It's a sunny day picture. Thank you for helping me find it. Let's put it on the board right here. And now we've made a new sentence. Let's read it together. Here we go. The weather is sunny. Let's read it again. Here we go. The weather is sunny. Oh, it is. It's a sunny day. It's a little warm. Ooh, but it's also breezy out. Yes, the wind is blowing a lot. Let's see what Bear Bear wants to wear today. Okay, we'll start with Bear Bear's shoes. Mm, I think Bear Bear said he would like to wear blue sneakers today. Can you point to the blue sneakers? Point to the blue sneakers. Oh, if you pointed to these, you're correct. These are the blue sneakers. Very good, we'll put the blue sneakers on. We'll put the red ones away for another day. And Bear is going to wear what color pants? Blue, thank you, blue pants. Oh, and since the wind is blowing, Bear said, mm, I wanna wear my hooded sweatshirt. Let's see if we can find Bear's hooded sweatshirt. <gasps> Which one is the hooded sweatshirt? The blue hooded sweatshirt. Which one? It's blue, you can point. Oh, if you pointed to this one, you're correct. This is Bear's blue hooded sweatshirt. Okay, we're going to put it on. Do, 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 do. And we'll put the hood up. Oh, Bear has his hooded sweatshirt on. It's sunny out. It's warm, but the wind is blowing so much. Bear just wants to make sure he stays warm, so he's wearing his hooded sweatshirt. Oh, now what will he put his books in and his toys in? What can he put it in? Oh, I have something. Did you say backpack? 
blue backpack? Yes, okay, we'll give him his blue backpack. Oh, Bear, I think you're ready for the day. Thank you for helping, you're such a great helper. Okay, my friends, now it's time for us to go on to our letter of the week. Oh, this letter of the week makes the sound t, t. Do you remember? I'm going to hold up the letter. If you know the name of it, you say it really loud. Here we go. T, letter T. If you said T, you're correct. This is uppercase T and Lowercase t, very good. Uppercase and lowercase. Okay, my friends, let's put t on the board. Now, do you remember the sound that letter t makes? I just said it, do you remember that sound? T, t, right. And what pictures have I been showing this week that start with letter t? T, turtle. T, table. T, toes. Can you think of something that starts with letter T? Can you think of something that starts with letter T? Ooh. Remember, T. Ooh. Like talk. I like to talk. Talk. That starts with letter T. Oh, wonderful friends. Keep on thinking of things that start with letter T. Good job. And today, since it's Friday, it's Writing Friday. We are going to practice writing letter T. We are going to practice it, but at the end of our circle time lesson. So let's keep on going, and then we'll practice letter T. Writing it or tracing. Okay, let's go down. Do, 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 do. Shape of the week. Who remembers, who remembers what the shape of the week is? is what the shape of the week is. Who remembers, who remembers what the shape of the week is? Do you remember? What's the shape of the week? Oh, really? Hmm, let's see if I have that shape. Here it is, the octagon. Did you say octagon? Oh, then I got it right, then I got it right. The octagon is our shape of the week. How many sides does the octagon have? Eight sides. Let's count them. Eight sides. I'm going to use my pointer finger to count. Are you ready? Let's start at the top. Count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. The octagon has eight sides. Let's put it on the board. The octagon. Thank you for helping me count those sides. Now, my friends, it's time for us to go over to our numbers. Our numbers. Okay, let's count our numbers starting at one, going all the way to number. What number is this? 20. Number 20. Okay, we can try and use our one clap. So we'll say the number, then clap one time. If you don't want to clap, you can snap, you can tap, you can use an instrument whatever you choose. So we'll say one, two, three, four, just like that. You ready? Okay, here we go, get ready, get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We did it. Thank you for counting with me, everyone. Okay, so remember I said today is writing Friday. That means we're going to practice writing and tracing or tracing letter T. So you can write it or you can trace it. So parents, friends, grandmas, aunties, uncles, everyone at home, if you need help, you can trace the letter T. If you're ready to write it, you can write it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to move some numbers out of the way. Get something to write with, get something to write on, and I'm going to get our board right here ready so I can write letter T. We're going to practice uppercase and lowercase T, okay? All right, I have room now. So first thing I'm going to do is get my markers because that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use markers to write. Okay, you get what you need. And I'm going to draw a line because I'm also going to use a line. OK, 
okay, I, I would like to draw a line here on the board. If you don't have a line, you can draw one too. I'll show you how. But if you have line paper, you can use that. I'd like you to see how to write letter T on the line. So if you're drawing your line, you need one solid line going across like this, across. You'll need a dotted line or dash line. It looks like this. Dash, 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 dash. And then you'll need another solid line at the bottom, like this. Another solid line. Now I have lines, and I can use this line. It's actually one line. I can use it to write my letter T. So today I'm going to use blue. I'm going to use blue. Now, we're going to start with uppercase T. So I want you to watch first, and then we'll do it together two times. And then when we get to lowercase T, T Watch first, and then we'll do it together two times. Okay, so looking eyes on, everybody eyes up here. Look at me. I'm going to start with uppercase T. When we start with uppercase T, we start at the top. Find your space, start at the top. And we draw a straight line down. And then go back to the top and draw a straight line across. Uppercase T. All right, my friends, let's try it together. You try it on the paper or board you're using. Here we go. Start at the top, draw a straight line down, go back to the top, and draw a straight line across. Uppercase T. Let's try it again, one more time. Uppercase T, start at the top, draw a straight line down, go back to the top, and draw a straight line across. Uppercase T. Now lowercase T. I'm still going to use my lines. Watch first, eyes up here, everyone looking, I'm going to start right here in the middle, a little above my dash line, and draw a straight line down, and then go back to that dash or back to the middle and draw a straight line across for lowercase t. Let's try it together. Okay, you're gonna find a space, you're going to go to the middle, okay? It's not as tall as uppercase t, go to the middle, and draw your straight line down, do 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 do. Now go to the middle of that line and draw a straight line across for lowercase t. Now I'm running out of room, so I'm just going to put one over here. Last one, here we go. Go to the middle, draw a straight line down, and go to the middle of that line and draw your straight line across. There it is, letter T. Uppercase, lowercase. How did you do? Did you give it a try? Did you trace or write? And even if you don't have anything to write or trace with, you can always practice with your finger in the air. Uppercase T, fingers in the air, let's practice it. You draw a straight line down, go back to the top, and you draw a straight line across. Lowercase T, it's a little smaller, so we'll go to the middle. Draw a straight line down, go to the middle of that line, and draw a straight line across. There it is. Uppercase T, lowercase T, we did it. Now it's time for us to sing our circle time song. Let's go to the desk. Here we go. Okay, my friends, today's circle time song is the name song. So remember, you need to listen for the first letter in your name. Get ready, get ready. Here we go. Remember, friends, listen for the first letter in your name. If your name starts with A, clap your hands. If your name starts with B, clap your hands. If your name starts with C, or D, or E, or F. If your name starts with G, clap your hands. If your name starts with H, clap your hands. If your name starts with I, clap your hands. If your name starts with J, or K, or L, or N. If your name starts with N, clap your hands. If your name starts with O, clap your hands. If your name starts with P, clap your hands. If your name starts with Q, or R, S, or T. If your name starts with U, clap your hands. If your name starts with B, clap your hands. If your name starts with W, clap your hands. If your name starts with X, or Y, or Z, clap your hands. Clap your hands! We did it, everyone. Thank you for singing the Circle Time song with me. Thank you for coming to Circle Time this entire week. I'm so happy you came, my friends. Circle time has come to an end. The week has come to an end. I will see you all again next week. Have an amazing weekend. Bye, friends.